When dealing with gases, the same overall equation is true. But the density of a gas will vary with its temperature and its pressure. Mixing gases will also affect the density of the mixture. As you compress a gas, the volume measurement changes. But the mass measurement of the gas remains the same. Compressed air is not free. It costs your process as much as the energy needed to compress it in the first place. If you measure airflow with a mass meter, you have an accurate and stable measurement of how much compressed air you are using and distributing, offering better accuracy and control possibilities of compressed air usage and generation around your plant. Engineers frequently express mass flow measurements in volumetric units. However, to be able to compare volume-based flow rates, it's necessary to introduce standard or normalised conditions for temperature and pressure. It's imperative you determine whether any gas figures you are talking about are being considered in normalised units, standardised units, for example, standard cubic feet or SCF, or in fact actual units of the pressure and temperature conditions that exist in the pipe. Here we have an example of the comparison between normalised volume and actual volume. If we run both of these volumes through a system, 0.1 cubic meters actual per second is actually equal to one normal cubic meter per second. The volume flow is different in both cases. However, the mass flow rate is identical. In some areas of application and with some older equipment, standardized cubic feet are used, or SCF. These are expressed as if the gas is measured in cubic feet at 60 degrees Fahrenheit and one atmosphere. It's critical when making or comparing volumetric gas flow measurements to establish whether you are talking about actual, normal or standard units. Remember, if you use actual volumetric units, accurate comparison of different flows is impossible unless the same pressure and temperature conditions exist. For gas mass flow measurement, consider systems such as thermal mass metering, for example the ABB Sensiflow system, or perhaps DP flow metering, such as the Master M. These techniques offer very economical solutions, particularly in large pipe sizes, and also offer low pressure drop to minimise energy losses, and very wide measurement ranges, allowing accurate measurement even at low flow conditions.